these, but thanks for hanging out. <laughs> yeah. I don't see it. It says I'm live. Somebody drop into the live chat and let me know that you can hear me. That'd be cool. Thank you. There it is. second. <laughs> Are you able to see stuff? Yes. Hi. Yes, there we go. So I'm Danielle and this is Jason and we've been converting the van that you see here for probably the last four months or so. We got it in April 2022. I'm a nurse and Jason kind of does a little bit of everything. <laughs> and I do. We have some questions that we want to go through that might help paint a better picture as to what we're planning on doing with the van and the build. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to chime in. What can I see on here? Because it's not on that part. It's look, looking like it's... Uh, somebody says loud and clear. Loud and clear. Glad is it, you can hear us. <laughs> is it showing up sideways, though? It is, it is on my phone. We don't want it to be sideways. Because yeah. that's it's annoying, right? I guess that's better, right? Hold on, let me look on mine. Sorry for our amateurness on this. Th this is our first time. Okay. This stuff is hard. Yeah, it's still showing like this. Yeah, I don't know how to make it <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. So <laughs> this is what we got going on. And I think it calls for a drink, honestly, because I'm already stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. You want to keep up some questions? Thank you, honey. We got... I think the first question was, where are you based? We're based in the Adirondack Mountains, yes. northern New York. of um, between Saranac Lake and Lake Placid. And currently we're in Westport. Cheers. We're currently in Westport. This is Jason's parents' property. They have an actual garage. This is where we do a lot of our build because it's the only covered place that we pretty much have. The other question that we have is what's your actual plan for living out of the van and how much do you plan on living out of it? We plan on living out of it full time, uh, as soon as it's done. And we're hoping that it's done in April. And I'm gonna get rid of my apartment and we're, the two of us and the dogs are gonna do this full time. We're not sure where we're gonna go yet. We're probably gonna hang around the Adirondacks for a little bit and, and work and save up some money to go travel a little bit. And I think we're gonna hang out or head out to the Southwest probably first because I've only been to the Southwest one time and I really want to check out Arizona a little bit. So we'll see. I'm not sure where we're going just yet. Another question. Why do you want to live in a van? Um, mainly because of the freedom and I'm that much trying to save money on rent. And I would love to buy a property, a piece of property exactly. someday. And you know, it would be really cool to start like an off-grid kind of like homestead thing, like not a whole bunch of farming, but so solar panels and some land would be really cool, right? Like five to 10 acres. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe not more. <laughs> right. 30 to 40. Um, <laughs> we already answered this question. Why do you want to live in a van full time? Well, not, well, I guess just the freedom of it, right? For okay. sure. Yeah. Another question. How do you plan to make money? I currently am per diem as a nurse, so I plan to do that uh, every couple of days or so. And with not having any money or not having any rent to pay and bills like electricity and all that, I hope to save a lot of money in that aspect. And I can make money on the interwebs. Right. Yeah. And, and maybe, maybe someday uh, YouTube will pop off for us, but it, it probably isn't going to happen. So. Mm -hmm. But hey, who knows? You know, we pull into a town for, want to be there for three weeks. 
and then uh, pick up a quick side job, either one of us. Right, there's... Know, and stay there for three weeks, make enough money to move along to the next place. Yeah. And know? there's some things that, like, people, like, nomadically do. Um, there's this thing called, what is it, uh, the, the sugar beet harvest. And oh, yeah. That's they have that cool. out in uh, Colorado, Montana, and Idaho, I believe. And, and you work like a dog for 12 weeks. Not 12 weeks, I'm sorry, two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks, and you can make like up to like 11 grand doing that. But you have to work seven days a week, and they're like 12 hour shifts. Mm -hmm. But they give you a campsite, um, and I think you have to have like a heat source. And um, I think it's also it's, some kind of, no, it has to be like a, like a diesel heater or something. But there's options like that for people on the road that want to make fast cash. Um, and obviously, there's remote jobs that you can do, and we're looking into that as well. Another question. Um, how will you handle the dogs in the summertime? That's a good question. Um, we're gonna do our best. We're not intending on leaving the dogs in the van at all. It, um, if, if we're not um, out on the road, like we're taking them with us. And if we do leave them in the van for like grocery shopping purposes, we have the vent fan, we have the windows we can open and we'll do that. But it, it's gonna be Kind of like a case by case basis like we're not intending on leaving the dogs in in the van for any long extended periods of time and they're small nuggets always been really good in the vehicle she loves to snuggle and cuddle and juno she's still learning how to be a dog so um as long as there's no chargers or any wires out five months old in two weeks yeah a week a week yeah she's yeah. young still she has a lot to learn but i think she'll be great as long as she has some places to run around I think she'll enjoy that. Oh, yeah, we got her. Um, question in the live chat says, you have a lot of camping gear. What do you plan on bringing with you? Backpacking, canoe, etc." Good question. We pretty much planning on bring, bringing the, we're pretty much planning on bringing a lot, if not all of our camping gear. I don't have a ton of stuff. We do have a really nice bag Agnes three person uh, tent and we're gonna bring that. We'll still have our camping pads and stuff, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, we don't have a canoe. I do have a paddleboard, and that's definitely coming. We're probably gonna get a second one as well. I have a kayak. Yeah. I don't know. Which. That thing's huge. We're just gonna. I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with that. Yeah. But might, maybe paddleboard and then. Yeah, paddleboards. At least you can like. We can figure something out. Yeah, the inflatable ones you can Point roll being, up. Like, solar panel up here. Length of van. You know. It's going to be hard to put a canoe, you know, unless we get a trailer, which is a whole other. I don't know about that. I don't trust my abilities. Bag of apples. I don't trust my abilities with a trailer. I got you, babe. Yeah. But, uh, Maybe a small enclosed trailer. But no, but for now, like, yeah, boards, totally. Yeah. Something enclosed. You know, what we're actually thinking about. We do have a like a, a hitch back here, so I was thinking about one of those swing out. Um, those. I don't know, rear hitches that you can store gear oh, yeah. on. Trailer. There you go. Yeah. SK joiner. Exactly. Right. Pretty much, yeah, we, point, we plan to bring all of our camping gear. Like, we're not trying to part with any of that stuff because we still want to be on a backpack and enjoy the wilderness. And also, too. if we're in the desert, we don't need ice climbing gear. Right. You know what I mean? That can stay home. Yeah. Wherever home is, like, parents' house, barn. Mm -hmm. And, like, hey, can you mail us out? You know, free climbing ropes and our ice tools. <laughs> yeah, please you know? mail us our stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Um, hmm. Will you have a toilet? No. No. No, we're not. Poopies outside. And we're going to do it the leave no trace style. Of course. Um, you know, following those principles is definitely important to me and Jason. Nomadic deck. Hello, nomadic deck. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm actually surprised to see as many people as, as, as are here. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's, that's cool. Um, yeah, so for the toilet thing, like, I'm probably going to, quite honest with you, I'm probably going to have, like, a small urinal thing. There's actually a really cute one. It's, like, teal, and it's got, like, a pink little thing. I'm just, like, you know, do that, and I'll dispose of it the way that I should. Um, and if we're around town areas, we're just going to go um, use public facilities as best as we can. We'll probably have like some small emergency thing. I'm not sure on that. It might just be like a class. We'll, 
one, I know that they make collapsible type of toilets. Uh, it has to be small though, because as you can see, this place is really small and we're going to have tons of stuff here with us. So having a nature's head toilet is totally out of the question for me. Um, how do you plan to shower? Same thing, rivers, streams. I'm just like, not with any crazy soap or anything like that. Just have you ever taken a lake dip and just felt so refreshed? Like mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's me. Minus the leashes. Yeah. And then we also have a <laughs> sink too. Um, and we'll have the gray water. We'll dispose of the gray water the way that we should. And I plan on like washing my hair with soap and stuff like that and disposing of the gray water, um, and, and Properly. dump facilities. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. What is something you look forward to about band life? I'll go ahead with that. Something to look forward to band life? Yeah, what's something you look forward to about it? Just going and seeing fun places. Yeah. You know, and experiencing, hey, I like this town. Let's hang out here for right. a month. Yeah. Or two. Or not. Mm -hmm. You know? And then if you want to move on, you move on. Right. You know? It's not like... It's not like you have like, oh my God, you know, I live in New York and I have to go out to California on a cross country trip and I gotta be back in two weeks, mm -hmm. you know, and you miss all the stuff that you wanna go see. Like, we can just park somewhere mm -hmm. and live there and then move on, right. you know? Yeah. Hey, you wanna go to Argentina? Sure. Mm. Wanna go to Alaska? Okay. Yeah. You know? For me, it's, mm -hmm. it's really just, I haven't really been a lot of places in the country. I, I went to Utah for the first time. That was also my first time in an airplane, and then I jumped out of one within three <laughs> days of that. And that was a lot <laughs> for me. And it was awesome. And it, it's really Ironically, just... Ironically, I'm wearing my skydiving t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of looking for a place to Not have home base for me. I really want to see some more places before I decide to purchase property. <laughs> Um, I would love to have property here in the Adirondacks, but as a lot of you probably know, the Adirondacks is kind of overwhelmed with, with tourism and short-term rentals, and there isn't really a whole lot out there that's not several hundred thousand dollars for a small piece of property. Come right back. Um, another question. Yes, there's a lot of environmentally friendly soaps out there. Yeah, there are, and I'll be looking into some of them. What's the question? Um, what's something you're scared of about van life? Nah, crazy people interrupting us <laughs> when we're in the middle of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Which just happened. Yeah, if you, if you saw ago. our last, our second to last video, <laughs> we went out, like, winter camping for the first time, and... Yeah, this this weirdo showed up. You, you guys should just go watch that. But yeah, um, I'm I'm mostly afraid of the van just ceasing to work permanently. Um, that's probably my biggest concern. But we haven't really had any issues thus far. Just uh, the brake line issue in Buffalo that we had yeah. this past summer, which we got uh, one entire side front to end re replaced. We do have another one we'd we'd like to get fixed up, but we haven't had any issues yet. Uh, uh, wood. So, uh, there's a question in the live chat that says, besides the living space build, what do you want to do to the van, mechanicals, tires, suspension, etc.? I would love to get some question. better tires for off-roading. I don't really know a whole lot about suspension. I, that might be a topic for my father. And hey, shout out to my dad. He's probably watching oh, from right. South Carolina. Him mm -hmm. and Carrie. Hi, love you. Um, that would be... Probably something. I, I need my dad to look under the van for me. Um, if anybody knows how to economically convert a rear-wheel drive van into all-wheel drive, that would be awesome. Yeah, I find that to be probably <laughs> very expensive for what we <laughs> yeah. have going into this van. Talking about like a couple grand, not like 10, 20. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, we just buy a new van. <laughs> um, a question in the live chat from Nomadic. Dax says, do you have or use AAA? We do. We do have AAA. Yes. yes. Shout out to Laura Piasecki, my mom, who's right over there. Yeah. She'll probably poke her head in at one point. She got she got us a AAA membership, and mm -hmm. we are forever thankful and grateful. Thank you, Laura. I love you. Um, hmm. Another question I have is, where do you want to visit first in the van? That's a great question. I mean, the Southwest... Ideally, I would love to get as far out west as the Pacific Northwest. North Dakota. <laughs> North Dakota. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> There's some really cool spot. What is it? The Black Hills or Black? That's South Dakota. South Dakota. North Dakota yeah. is uh, Theodore Roosevelt National Park, uh -huh. which is amazing. And North Dakota is just cool. Yeah. It's just, I love North Dakota. Mm. What is the route on the Pacific Northwest? Is it Route 1? 1. Yeah. yeah. So I want to explore Route 1 in the Pacific Northwest. I want to see all those like coastal PNW towns, and I want to see all that. I, it's, it's a little smoky. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be smokeless. <laughs> yeah. hmm. How long do you tend to live this way? Is another question. Um, we are hoping for at least a year before we get tired of it. I don't think that... I will get tired of it. The thing I that I will get tired of is probably being crunched in a short roof van. Um, but we can sit up in this thing. And the whole point of having a short roof build is... Sitting. What? No, it's, it's fine. Um, it's going to force us to live outside, which is ideally what we're looking for. We're going to have an awning so that we can cook out underneath that. And you know, we'll, we'll be all right. Nugget is inside, Chuck. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's up, Chuck? She's a homebody, and it's been kind of drizzling out. I'll go get Nugget. Yeah, you go get Nugget? Yeah. you want me to answer some more or no? Yeah, yeah keep going. All right. Yeah. We're going to get Nugget and Juno, hopefully. Hmm. How many miles are on your van? Currently sitting at a whopping 216,000 on this guy. However... The engine was completely replaced at 150,000, and it runs really good. I think it's like a 8.1 476. Uh, the guy that sold it told me told me that it could rip the foundation or the house off your foundation, and I believe him. Things pretty crazy. Another question: What is the most expensive part? of the build so far the electrical by far the battery that we just got from dakota you can't see it right now but i just partnered with them and they gave me a, a 1500 dollars battery um, in, ex in exchange for some content here and there but before i got that battery i i purchased a renergy setup of a 100 amp hour so half the power and that was a 600 dollars battery and then you also have the solar kit, what I think was 250, and then all the wiring and components was quite a bit and a lot to purchase right away. Nomadic Dak, how many dogs will be going with you and do you have any concerns about them with the trip? Just just Nugget and Juno. So we'll have two dogs. You know, Nugget, if you've seen her in the videos, is 20 pounds and all of this big. Juno, she is a mini Australian Shepherd and she will be probably at most 40 pounds. Hi, Nuggie, come here. Hi. Are you chewy? Here's Nuggie. Come here. Oh, hi. Oh, boy. Come here. Nuggie, Nugget and Juno. <laughs> They'll be with us. I don't really have really any concerns other than leaving them in the vehicle. I, I'm not trying to do that. And really it's just theft. Theft is the biggest thing. If, if anybody was to steal my dog, I don't, I don't know what I would do. Um, I guess I worry about the Southwest and like rattlesnakes and scorpions and stuff like that. But again, I guess having a, a good eye and keeping the dogs on the leash or at least Juno Nugget stays very close. She rarely will ever stray. Unless Carly and Chuck stop over and they'll, <laughs> she'll run out into the road to greet them. Yes, they do. They stay pretty close. Juno, she, she, she doesn't really listen yet, but she's still learning. Like I said, she's a couple months old. She hasn't learned to come and stay yet. We're getting there. Hmm. How much did the van cost so far? The van we got for forty five hundred. Yep. And right, the build so far, I want to say maybe maybe two. You got beans with you? There yeah. Where are Judy's? Twenty five hundred probably. Are you cold? You want to let her inside? Did she poop? 
I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of locked in over here. Okay, hold on. Nuggie wants to go inside. Though. Bring in Juno, too. There's Juno. Hi, Juno. Say hi. Yeah. Nuggie's ripping fucking... Oh, Ooh. pardon yeah. my French. Beep, beep, beep. I didn't say that. Yeah. I said fudging. <laughs> fudging. Uh, they want to go She's ripping side. nose burners in the house, so... I think she might have to do the, she's the old number two. Um, so yeah. I just answered a couple questions, like what was the most expensive part of the van? I said electrical yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. What was the most difficult part of the build so far? Probably electrical. And we <laughs> haven't even finished it yet. Like we don't have the solar panel on the roof yet. Um, we don't have the alternator uh, isolator set up yet. That and, should be so much But we do have the access for it. Mm -hmm. She does need a jacket. The thing is she's gained like... 10 pounds and she doesn't fit in her jacket anymore. <laughs> Nuggie's jacket? Yeah. She fits She's thick. It. She's yeah. a thick bean. She's a thickums. Uh, uh, what else do you think is the toughest thing? Oh my god. Probably the ceiling. If you haven't seen the ceiling video, that, that was, was awesome. Yeah. It was good. It was just very tedious. Like we sanded. Starting wise. Sanded, stained, yeah. sanded, and stained, and polyed. And then. Once it started up, moving, you know, then it was. Smooth sailing. Yeah, once yeah. we made it straight, everything fit in very nicely. Yeah. But that was tedious because we wanted mm -hmm. it to look nice, and it ended up looking great. Yeah. Thank you. The pneumatic deck looks great. Yeah. Um, hmm. Have you had any engine trouble besides the brake line nope. going? No, we haven't actually had any engine trouble per se. The thing starts and drives very well. Runs like a queen. I, I, it is something that I worry about. The thing is 22 years old, <laughs> but. Yeah. We've been keeping up on the maintenance pretty well, yeah. so we'll see what happens in the in Desert Valley, or what is it? What is it? Death Valley. Death Valley. Death Valley. Yeah. We'll mm -hmm. see what happens out there. Well, we got four jerry cans of water, so yeah, and we have a Garmin device, so that's another there. thing that I wanted to kind of like touch on. We'll have eighteen gallons. Eighteen, 18 gallons, gallons of fresh water. Yep. Yeah. The the Garmin that I pay monthly for is, is a great, great tool in case something were to happen, you know, any emergency, whether it's in the back country, if we get stranded out in the middle of the road somewhere, we have some way to contact somebody. We'll yeah. love that. When do you think the van build will be finished? April. Hopefully, if not sooner. <laughs> I mean, we're moving along pretty quickly. It's close. How do you plan to protect yourselves from thieves and weirdos? <laughs> well, yeah. So, a, little, a little shotgun action. <laughs> holy, <laughs> Some yeah. bear spray. Uh, as much as we don't want to do that. And People are mentioning yeah. that we should get some kind of firearm. I, yeah. I don't know that that's a good idea. I don't know what the rules are as far as crossing into states. Especially if we decide uh, to... The shotgun, you can go in, your, in a rifle. Handgun, no. Yeah. Handgun, that's a felony. I don't really know about having mm -hmm. a weapon like that but some bear mace bear i heard spray, works pretty yeah, good and you know I mean, mag lights i heard work pretty good and yeah, i mean that'll stop somebody in the we tracks. have a nice silky saw mm, mm, mm. i don't know we're just you know things happen and you can't the really silky saw. <laughs> it's kind of hard to know when things are i don't know it's hard to be prepared i guess that the weirdo thing took us by surprise here in the adirondacks that was not that was not cool i did not expect that to happen here where i live nor should you expect it to happen anywhere you know, like, oh, I totally expected that to go down in New Mexico or something. Yeah, I mean, something crazy where, like, girls just, get snatched off the street. Totally. Oh, yeah. For sure. Do yeah. you have or use Starlink? Um, Going to, right? I would love to have Starlink. Right. It's very expensive starting out. I think it's like 600 to get the unit, and then it's like 130 a month, but you can go anywhere. Um, and it, they give you a little map that you can see. That's an idea. Um, maybe in the future... Hopefully, when we're making a little bit more money, that can be a, an option for us. If not, there's other, like, spot devices you could use, like, hotspot devices. Yeah. And the new Apple iPhone 14 has built-in SOS features that are similar to Garmin. Yes, I, yeah, I heard that, too. It does, yeah. My, my phone is the 13 Pro Max. I, think, I don't think it has that feature. I think, but the new update, it does. Yeah, maybe. I think. I could be completely wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Yeah. Hmm. June Buck, what are we doing? Did you go poop? Did you go poop? Let's see. Maybe it's cold. I gotta put her back I in. Alright. 
Come on, chili bun. Chili beans. Oh. Chili beans. Come on. I use these clips on solar motion activated lights. That's cool. That's a good idea. Where'd you get those from? I um I haven't heard of those. That would probably be pretty good for the van to have. Even like if we're sleeping and somebody comes up to the van, it'd be kind of good to have some kind of light. It would make people think that we're awake. It's a good idea. Amazon? Cool. I'll check that out. Do you have a plan for after van life? Goals for after van life? Yeah, I, I would love to have five to 10 acres of property somewhere and have as many <laughs> acres as we can. <laughs> that would be ideal. By the way, this is our only weapon at the moment. Is there a silky saw? I think sharp AF. It Careful. is sharp AF. Careful, don't cut yourself live. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut myself. <laughs> <laughs> kind of great if I did though. Yeah, like 10, 10 acres would be ideal. Like we would love to have some kind of greenhouse. We would love to have some solar off grid mm -hmm. setup, kind of like the van, but like in a stationary location would be super ideal. I, Chickens. I'm not really down for butchering anything. That's my job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't I like mean, it. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It'd of be it. great to be totally sustainable. You gotta yeah. do it though. Yeah, for sure. Get some goats. Make some goat cheese. Mm-hmm. Just you know. Right. Make the peats. Um. Do you wish you had a high roof van? Totally. They're very expensive though, mm -hmm. and a lot of the ones that you find that are actually kind of within our price range. Like I wasn't trying to spend more than five thousand mm -hmm. because I also just wanted to get into a van and start mm -hmm. building it. They're they have like three hundred thousand k. And they're also very, very rusted out. And yeah. I don't know. We just can't stand up in it. But yeah. you can sit on the bed and you don't hit. Like, you're totally fine. Um, so, you know, you put your pants on. You're just kind of like this. That's okay. Or you just sit down and put your pants on. It's really doesn't come into play, I find. Um, yeah. You know, we're doing most things outside of the van. You know, it's really just sleep. Right. Inside. And, and we can fit totally <laughs> yeah. sideways. It, it does look small in here, but, um, you know, we, we're we each like 5'7", and we fit perfectly five, sideways. I'm 5'7". How tall are you? 5'11". No, no way. We did the whole measure thing on the wall, remember? <sighs> I'm taller than you. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Do you still plan on going pa on paddling trips? Yes. 100%. Would love to. Yes. Yeah. As much as we can. Yeah, it's you know probably more like pedaling, like on the paddle board, but maybe we can rent some. We did do this awesome trip on the Oswegatchie this past fall. Um, my friend Chuck works at Racket River Outfitters. Shout out to them. They hooked us up with a really nice 16 foot Swift Prospect, and we took that on a three three day trip, and that was awesome. So like, there's options for that. We can do that. And um, we can also, I mean, and we would take the dogs. We'd have to take the dogs. Yeah. So. But even thinking about it too, like there's there's so much added things we can do to the van. Like we could build something up top to hold a canoe. You yeah. know, above the solar panel, above the yeah. vent, you know, above the rack and above the box. You know yeah, what we mean? can make it work. You know, could. there's options of plenty always. There's, right. There's ingenuity and Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yes. Um someone asked, Can you carry gear on your roof? Yes, we do yes. have you can kind of see it up there, but um, that roof rack was made by the previous owner. Like, he welded that himself, and it's it's awesome. It is kind of like a basket style. Uh, style. I kind of wish it wasn't so that we could fit longer things, but it'll be good to keep bags, or if we get, like, a 60-gallon blue barrel, we can stuff dry food in there or, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. Maybe make a deck. If you talk about Suntan. your recording gear, do you mostly use your iPhone for everything? Yes, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I'm, I do have a camera. It's a Sony A7 II. And to be quite honest, it's just such a pain to use. Um, I, I came from Canon, and I, and I used to do photography all the time. And I will get back into that at some point. Um, but for right now, I'm just recording on my phone. And if you're trying to start a YouTube channel, you should just do the same because it, it works. And, and the quality... And does it sound good? Can you hear? Yeah. Like, how, how does the how does the, the sound quality? Like, Can you hear us clearly? Is right. it busily? Because mm -hmm. you're literally eight feet away from us. Right. Um, 
Yeah, just the iPhone for now, though. That'd be cool to know. I would like to probably upgrade. I ha I think I'm going to sell the Sony A7 II. I Sound only... is very clear. Thanks, Nomad Nomadic Deck. Yeah. Awesome. Woohoo! Sound is great. Yeah. Love that. Mm -hmm. Yep, just the iPhone, guys. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all you need, really. Seriously. I'll let you drop it into... Uh, Don't drop it into the lake. The bog, <laughs> bog lake. Yeah. I was literally in the middle of filming a YouTube video for our Whitney C oh. loop, and I dropped my phone in the middle of the bog. And I was very unhappy. Anybody's got a metal detector and really wants an iPhone 13? An iPhone 7. Nobody wants that crap. It's the oh, dinosaur. okay. Never mind. Or yeah. if you want a really nice tripod. There is a tripod down see. there. It's yeah. down there in the Harrison lake. Harrison Brook. About 15 feet, like 15 feet deep. <laughs> right off, right off the portage. If you can get in there, it's 15 feet, and you can't see like two feet down. So. Harding. Um, how is Juno acclimating to life with Nugget? She's doing great. She learns yeah. a lot from Nugget. I, I'm glad that we have Nugget for her to kind of bounce life off of. She's doing good. Uh, another question: Where do you see yourself in five years? Again, probably with a piece of property. Hopefully still traveling. Hopefully having a little bit more freedom. But if not, whatever. We're just going for it, guys. You know, we have a little bit of a plan, but it's, it's not a solid plan. There's no good time to do this kind of thing. You just kind of have to go with your gut and, just and it. wing it as best you can. What is the next big purchase for the build? Next big purchase, I would love to get a Thule roof box. Yes. That's going to be like a good $600 hit. Yeah, that's the next one. Um, and, and an awning. But those aren't really that expensive. You can kind of get those kind of cheap, or you can build one yourself like my friend Chuck and Carly did, and they road tripped the whole Southwest mm -hmm. with a handmade awning. That worked excellent. So yeah. there's options for us. I think we're, we're probably just going to buy one because I'm not really trying to build one myself. An awning? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just buy yeah. I don't know. I mean, big purchases, that's kind of really it. We yeah, pretty much, that's we pretty really much it. We have pretty everything much have already. Everything that we need. I don't, I don't know if she showed you her beautiful Dakota lithium battery. Yeah, I talked about it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. But, um, uh, I mean, a trailer in the future, depending on what we're doing. You know, if we're going to have our mountain bikes with us or who knows what. Nomadic Deck as property in the Adirondacks. I would love to have property in, in yeah. the Adirondacks. Um, I mentioned a little bit earlier that it's a little bit expensive out here, and there's not really a whole lot out there. Mm -hmm. um, if you kind of stay away from the uh, Saranac Lake, Lake Placid area, and, and travel <laughs> like 30 minutes in the radius, you can kind of find some cheaper options, but there's not really a whole lot out there, and especially with like the water and access amenities. properties, it, like the taxes are through the roof right. here. So... Yeah. Uh, um, but if, you know, there's sites online that you can look at land for sale. And we have seen beautiful properties, five acre properties for like five grand that you can just pick up in Utah. Is it ideal? Probably not. It's just like a little square plot of land in the middle of the desert. But there's options out there for us. I would love like property in Montana or Wyoming or something like that. It'd be kind of cool to have property in one state and property in another state and just kind of bounce around. Yes. Um, just have a camp. Yeah. Know. And just kind of travel with the seasons. The thing with here, though, and be, being it so expensive in the populated areas, even if you want to be just outside the populated areas, um, if you live in an area that is not populated, you have no amenities. Mm -hmm. So you would have to leave your house, drive probably your quarter mile of your driveway, and then drive an hour to go get dog food, you know, or bacon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, so it's a crazy catch-22. Granted, I'd rather drive the hour to go get bacon and have our nice property. Yeah. Extra thick bacon, yeah. though. Well, granted, too, we'll probably have pigs. Oh, God, I, wanna, I don't want to think about that just yet. And we'll have to make our own bacon. Yeah. But so She won't be there for that. Carrie, how much money do you have in the van project? I don't really know exact dollar amount, but I think it's under thirty-five hundred, not including the actual not van the purchase, purchase the van. itself. Yeah. 
it's we've returned a lot of things and we purchased things and we you know we definitely bought things that didn't work like we put this wall panel up thinking this is going to save us time this is a great <laughs> idea and then you like look at the ceiling and you look at the countertop that we just did and we're like wow we're, we're just really trying to cut some corners here and it looks like <laughs> crap looks like crap so we're going to rip that thing down it looks like, okay, we just cut a piece of cardboard out of a big box we just got from Amazon and stuck it it's, on the wall. It's essentially cardboard, <laughs> but it looks like, you know, nice wood veneer. It's like whitewashed with some grain, and it looks kind of nice and flashy, but, like, how the heck do you fix it to the wall without using screws to go right through it? So annoying. Because the brad nails just go choof, yep. right through it. Useless. So we're yeah. ripping that thing off. That was 50 bucks I wasted. 25 because we can return the other panel. The van was 4500 Oh, yeah. 400, 4,000, right? I think he wanted 5,000, but he gave and it to me. And then went down to 45. He gave it, he gave it to yep. me for 45 so, after. Because using the 500 actually over he, to for registration. Yeah, he's like, go yeah. go get the van registered, and he let me yeah. have the rest. Now. Super so, nice guy. Super cool guy. Yep. Do so. Love him. Yep. Um, what type of mail service will you use while on the road? So, like, any, like, governmental documents, we're probably just going to use, like, his parents house or yeah. I don't know some other person's house that doesn't mind us giving our mail to them or you can just use post offices um, you can do general delivery yeah like that's how people like mail food to themselves if they're doing a big long camping trip yeah you know like you just send food if we like let's say we were or whatever gonna you know? buy I don't know some supplies for the van you can go to UPS stores and you yeah. can put that address of the UPS store yeah. in. You just have to contact them. And I think they actually charge you like $5 per package, but they don't mind people uh, putting the address. Walgreens does it too. Walgreens. And Kinney. Yeah. Um, you can ship stuff there. Mm -hmm. You know, especially if you have like a package that like needs a signature, mm -hmm. you can ship it to like a Walgreens or a Kinney and then just go there and sign for it whenever it gets there. So it's, yeah there yeah so for legal documents we're gonna have a physical address yeah yeah that's gotta come and, and anything here. else is gonna be you know on the road as, as we go yeah i've heard that if you do usps like you know post office that's that can get kind of hairy but if you go to like an actual amazon location or ups stores you just pay a couple bucks to pick up your yeah. package you can even get a post office box and ups stores yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah right you can have them too and you can do that too. You know, you plan it out. You can have six of them. Right. <laughs> like, oh shit, I'm gonna be shoot. I said shoot. Yep. I'm gonna be in Prescott, Arizona. <laughs> Your father wants to know when you're getting a pistol permit. Thanks, Dad. Um, Your dad or my dad? My dad. Okay. <laughs> okay, I am working on the pistol permit. I don't know. If, I don't know if you can get one. Can you get one in here? I don't. I've never actually, yeah. I kind of looked into it when I was younger. However, though, the pistol, we can't go state, you can't yeah. cross into different states. Yeah, so I'm you not know, really. So a shotgun, we can just hang right here. It's got a lot of spread. And then go anywhere you want to go. I'm just going to get a super go. soaker, pistol, and I'm though, just going to, yeah. that's yeah. it. Yeah, some states you can't go across the border with the pistol, no matter what, permit or not. Correct, yeah. You know, um, that's kind of a Without having to go situation. through loopholes like calling state police, being like, I want to come into your state. Can you meet me at the border and go through the process? Then they're going to make you want to get a permit in their state. Pain in the ass. Rifle, shotgun, go anywhere you want. Right. That's yeah. it. And as long as you have a hunting license, you can do what you want to do. Mm. I'm not really trying to have a gun. And also, doesn't that make no what? sense? Like, why can you just have a giant shotgun and a giant rifle that you can't have a pistol? Because you can conceal them easily. Well, yeah. They all do the same thing. You know? Yeah. Because of everything in the world going on these days. That's <laughs> no, I why. I know. It's just... How about a flare gun pistol? That's a good idea. Yeah, I like yeah. that. But then um, we have to worry about setting the set environment the on fire. Exactly. And then everybody would come for me. Yeah, for that. exactly. Oh, you just set down a, you know... Everybody would come for Whitney that. Whitney Wilderness on fire. Yeah. Good job, Danielle. You're being so responsible and sustainable. What a stand-up gal. Yep. I can see it now. How's everybody doing today? Do we have anybody in here? A couple people? What, honey? Talking to me? Talking to no. me? No. Eat That's pretty much all the questions that I have, guys. Unless you guys have anything last minute. 
It was really awesome chatting with everybody. And thanks for stopping in. Any suggestions, too. You yeah, know, like, totally. If you see the videos that she makes, you know, you see something we did wrong or could be tweaked in the right way, like, any info is helpful. Right. You know? For sure. We're really excited to get this thing going. Um, I'm actually going to go visit my dad on Thursday. Um, I'll bring the van. Yep. Yep. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys a little bit of, of that if he if he allows me to show the the <laughs> humble abode. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Keep up the good bids. Yep, we'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Hope everybody has a great rest of your day. We're gonna do some more work, so um, we'll probably post the next the next video in like the next couple of days. So I wish you can see the sink. You want to show them the sink real quick? What it's gonna look like? Um, like just the board. No, I don't. It's gonna take a while to get that together. No, no, I mean, I'm just gonna. We'll show you the sink. We'll show you the sink another time. Another time. Yeah. Not now. We got some work to do. We got yeah. like maybe 30 minutes of daylight. So, cheers. Yes. Everybody Salute. be safe. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please like this video. It really does help me out. I would love to get to 1,000 subscribers. I only need 130. So, actually a little bit less. So, yep. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah. I'm coming over. It's awkward. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>